Hey everyone, this is Lucky Seven DX. Welcome back to Let's Play Mario and Luigi Bowser Inside the Story. We're back in the extra videos where we are going to basically face Class Seven, which is quite an endeavor, as you can tell. It's a really long video. That's why it's taking so long to get out um, in between videos because this one is a challenge. So you saw my setup. Um, you saw I have the Master Wear and the Tight Belt on Mario because he's gonna be my SP guy. It makes more sense for him now. I'm gonna quickly explain, really explain this layout as we um in a little bit. First, I kind of need to explain what this is all about. Um, and then you saw the D Star Star where I was on Luigi. But what Class Seven is, you have to fight every single boss in a row, one whole set of turns. You only have 35 turns to fight every boss, plus a bonus boss at the end that we have never seen before. Well, technically we have, but it's new. It's 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 newer. Um, you, you'll, you'll see what I mean when we get there, but it's pretty much the reason to fight the gauntlet is a chance to fight this secret extra hidden boss. That's pretty much your reward in the end, is fighting this boss. So, uh, we're gonna fight that boss in this video. Now, the strategy to succeed in Class 7, Mighty Freaking Meteor. Do this every freaking trick, so you'll keep the items, you only start with a limited number of items, it's just like a couple one -up, normal 1-up mushrooms, a couple of super mushrooms, an ultra mushroom. A couple super syrups and an ultra syrup, I think, is all you get. So, M Mighty Meteor doing that early on these bosses are really easy. This is really important because, and especially in this guy where you can actually do multiple of them before you kill him. Because th these guys aren't really a threat, they can't do that much damage to your team, so it doesn't really matter if you get hit by these guys. If you, you, you really need these items, especially um, Max Nuts, kind of helpful. Star Candies, extremely helpful because SP is going to be an issue, and besides the super syrups and the Star Candy, um, you're going to want your SP there. Um, and especially 1-Up Deluxes. 1-Up Deluxes are going to be the key. The more, basically, the more 1-Up Mushrooms you have, the more, the longer you can survive against the final boss. Because as you can see, this is, um, it's recommended that you're level 50. I'm level 40, so I'm doing this 10 levels behind. And believe me, we're going to need all the goodies we can get. So, uh, take advantage of this guy's invincibility. Do a couple mighty meteors and just get extra items. Um, it, it really is a good idea. Uh, now, as you can see, now, I guess I can go ahead and explain my, uh, formation. As you can see, I have the healing, uh, thing on with excellent, ex exclamation mark, exclamation mark, the hidden badge, basically. Um, just because it gives you 100% healing, you can get it within two or three turns, which means basically every two or three turns, you can heal your bros up to full. So, that basically means you can sort of, you know, take hits, and not really have to worry too much about HP, and it gives you a, more, most importantly, it gives you a heal that does not cost a turn. And that is extremely vital to be able to heal your, your bros without wasting a turn because, you know, every turn you waste, obviously, is, you know, less damage you get, you get to do that turn. So you can heal and do this at the same time. The bros one to get extra SP is, isn't a bad idea, but because you get so many star candies from Mighty Meteor, and because I have the Master Wear and the Tight Belt on Mario, which conserves a lot of SP, it's not the biggest deal, even though I didn't get that much SP throughout the game, um, just, you know, with the way I, I gave SP to the bros, you have enough SP with, um, that with the tight belt, you know, and the extra SP from the Master Wear, and, you know, being able to use Star Candies and the few uh, SP items you have, you'll get a chance to heal. Um, I'll explain when it gets to that. But uh, like I said, spam Mighty Meteor. I, I'm getting a lot of extra Mighty Meteor here, and that's um, that's precisely what I'm doing. You know, use this boss. Abuse this boss. Use this boss to get some. Don't take too long, though, because it is a timed event. In terms of turns, you have a lot more than you would think. Um, as long as you're generally pretty speedy, you don't have to worry about turns that much. 32 is a lot, but there you go, by the way. 1-Up Deluxe right there. Now, you guys are probably wondering, why did you make Mario the tank and Luigi the damage dealer? Um, and why did you get the type belt to Mario? Well, the reason for that is twofold. A, um, he's going first. So, in all these battles, for example, the one with uh, the previous one of Dermite X, Mario went first. He's the only one doing a turn that thing, so you're gonna kill German X in one hit no matter what. So, um, you know, you're saving SP because Mario is gonna be using special attacks more often. So, you save SP in the long run by doing that. That's important. What's probably more important is the fact that Luigi is having, I mean, he has a D Star Wear, so he's going to be dying a lot. Now, the way the mechanics work in this game basically, if Mario he, um, uses a 1 up on Luigi, it's Luigi's turn after that. So, um, you know, it doesn't skip Luigi's turn because Mario goes first and gets a chance to heal him. Thus, you're able to do a bro attack with Luigi. If Mario, if uh, Mario dies, it skips Mario's turn because he's dead. It goes to Luigi, who has to heal Mario. Mario doesn't get his turn back, so the enemy gets to fight, you know, gets to take a turn next. And you don't get a chance to attack there. Um, make sure you do a jump helmet by, here, by the way, just so you can, you know, not lower this guy's meter down. Because you probably can't one-shot with a mighty meteor. 
And a mighty meteor is going to be enough, I think, to probably bring his meteor down to full. So, uh, I recommend doing a jump helmet. A jump helmet and a mighty meteor should be enough to take him down if you're, uh, at the same power level as I am, I guess. So, um, but like I said, my strategy, um, if, like, like I said, if Mario dies, you don't get any attacks that turn. If Luigi dies, you can still use a mushroom and then get an attack that turn. That's important because it lets you do damage whilst, um, you know, in case a bro dies, which, you know, given that we have a D-Star wear, he probably will. Um, which is exactly why you want to get a, a, a lot of 1-Up Deluxes. Now, you guys are probably wondering, why do you use the D-Star wear? You really need that extra power to just get through the fights. I mean, if you don't have that, uh, that, that extra bit of extra power, you're probably, you're just, it's just going to go too slow. I mean, this is a timed thing as well. And on top of that, um, I mean, you want to be doing consistent damage here. You don't want to be taking, you know, forever to kill these guys, because the longer you take, the more chances they have to kill you. And believe me, later on, you know, when they're doing two attacks per turn, you really want to get through that as fast as possible. So, in general, it's a good idea to do that. As you can see, I'm still keeping up the Mighty Meteor. Continue to do that, you're going to continue to get more Max Nuts, and especially more 1-Up Deluxes and Star Candies, which is really vital to uh, surviving. Star Candies being your... You're ultimately your best source of uh, extra SP, which is really important because it heals your SP to full. Um, and obviously, Max Nuts, not, they're, they're not the most useful things, but they're decent. Ultra Mushrooms obviously won't be really that useful, so that's kind of a dud when you get that. But the 1-Up Deluxes, like I said, extra chances to heal your bro is extremely important. So Mighty Meteor really is the key to a successful level 7, uh, at least a low level class 7 gauntlet run. Because those extra items really come into play. I know, oh my god, Lucky 7DX is using items, holy shit. But um, it's true, it really is the key to surviving this. So uh, spam Mighty Meteor. Tight Belt really does help here, because as you can see, I'm still pretty high in SP despite all the special attacks I'm doing. That's pretty vital, because, I mean, you want, um, you can always use Star Candies for Luigi, and, you know, being that he's not the tank this time, he's gonna need the, uh, the extra HP anyway, um, the HP healing anyway, so, uh, it works out that, you know, both, you know, Mario, you, you kind of kill two birds with one stone, you get all of, uh, Luigi's HP back, and all of Luigi's SP back. Mario doesn't need the SP healing so much, I mean, obviously, a Star Candy at some point, or just, you know, some sort of SP healing at some point is beneficial to him, but, um, I know this is really SP intensive, you guys are probably wondering, whoa, you're not going to have any SP towards the end. Really, you have enough chance to heal up your SP, well, you, as long as you just sort of ration yourself. Mighty Meteor isn't that expensive an attack, it's only 8 SP, 4 SP of the Tight Belt. Tight Belt really is very useful here. Um, definitely re recommend picking that up, I'm pretty sure they I forget where you get the Tight Belt, I think they sell it in the, in the, uh, the shop. I think, isn't that where I got it last week, I actually completely forget, but, um... I'm pretty sure you can pick one up in the in the uh, the best shop in the game, that really fancy fancy shop in Toe Town. So uh, pick one up there. It really is very helpful. And in case you guys are wondering, this is like try number six or seven for this gauntlet. Um, it, like I've tried all different combinations. This one seems to definitely work by far the best. It's spamming Mighty Meteor and using the Tight Belt, and then having Luigi be your damage dealer. Star Candy, yes. Um, it really does, in the end, benefit you the most to have it like that. So, uh, I do recommend this setup. I think it's very tried and true. Luigi is running low on SP, but he'll have enough, um, he'll have enough for what I need to do with him, so that's good. Um, just need to get through this guy. Can this guy go ahead and die yet? Um, as for terms of HP values, I think Dermoid X has 500... Uh, the Beta Credit has like about a thousand, uh, Wisdom has about 1500. These guys, um, I know for these ones for sure. Mario has 2500 HP, Luigi has, uh, 3000, the memory ones I mean. Uh, so, you know, those are HP numbers you, you can have in mind. This guy has about 3000, I think. I forget what Dark Star X has, I think it's around 4000, 5000. Might be, I don't think it's that much. Anyway, Junker X, already on to, the, to this guy. Now, here's the fight where I don't recommend using Mighty Meteor because you're good. I mean, it's, it's random, so you'll be end up, for all you know, you'll end up attacking just the Junker cans, and that doesn't really give you progress. So this one, just go all out. Just you don't want to get killed by this guy. This is where the guys start getting threatening. So this is where we're really gonna take advantage of the tight belt. Uh, only 10 SP for these uh, for the falling star, which is amazing. We're only spending 10 SP for this, which is awesome. Uh, we can get a lot of these off then, which is really nice. And later on, uh, especially for the final fight, because there is a certain gimmick to the to the, the uh, hidden boss that becomes really important. As you can see, I'm not really using my badge meter at all. That's really just there in case of emergencies, and it's going to become handy for the Dark Star X in the final fight as well. 
Um, there's really you don't really need to worry about your meter until then, um, at least from my experience. So if you screw up, not that big a deal. I mean, it's not that hard to get excellent attack. I mean, you really do have to get these special attacks of the strategy because obviously, you know, to use the excellent exclamation mark exclamation mark badge, you have to combo excellence in a row. Which, you know, you get four excellence, you actually can get, you know, a full meter. So within two turns, you can get a full meter as long as you can get excellence on all the special attacks. And I do stress all because that actually becomes important. You're going to see why every single special attack is useful. Um, it is something you kind of need to do here. Uh, but like I said, the final boss has a gimmick, and it's pretty important. Uh, and that's something that's definitely going to come in play for having the type bell as well. So it's another reason why I recommend the type bell is because it lets you do something pretty useful during this final fight. I'm not going to spoil it, obviously. Uh, actually succeeded to dodge this guy that time. Uh, so that's that attack I didn't get to show off um, and actually show up dodging it this time, which is nice. Anyways, jump helmet. We know how this works. We just go ahead and jump on the helmet, and uh, hopefully, I think he's low enough right now where going to finish him off. That falling start did a lot of damage, so I'm hoping, I am hoping this is going to be enough here. Kill it. 500 enough? Yes. Excellent. So, that's the first five down. Not too shabby. But as you know, Dark Star X is going to be the hardest one, and this one's going to take quite a while. And the fight after that is going to take quite a while as well. So, uh, get ready guys, we're in here for the long haul now. It's time for the actually challenging fights, because you know, this guy's a level 40. This is Class 6 is level 40, so right now we're perfectly on even terms with this guy. So that's already difficult enough, and then obviously the one after this is uh, 10 levels ahead of us, which, believe me... I, uh, my, that's why I had to take six or seven attempts. If, if you don't, like, really do these early classes really well, you're kind of in trouble on that last one because it's going to be tough. And as you can see, I'm taking a lot of damage from, because of the D-Star wear. So you have to be really careful to make sure you dodge attacks really well here. Now, as we saw last time, um, jump helmets are still the best strategy, in my opinion, to taking these guys down. You might be able to get away with it with a green shell, but I don't, I feel more safe just doing the, the jump helmets. Um... Is, I, I just think, generally think it's a better idea. I don't know. Personal preference, I guess. Anyway, we go up here, we jump on this thing, it dies, and all is well. So uh, we're going to go ahead and do a jump helmet with Luigi as well. Uh, he's getting a little low on SP, but don't worry because I have a plan for the, that remaining SP that's going to be uh, really useful. Uh, basically, he has enough to do a Mighty Meteor, is what I'm trying to say, and that's what's important. Because um, I'll, I'll, I'll definitely will tell you, you really can't kill the Dark Star X in one round, which is unfortunate. I'd like to do two. So, um, basically, I'm going to go ahead and get a couple more Mighty Meteors in, because you never know. You could end up getting another one of Deluxe that could save your life, and that's pretty important. Anyway, uh, these guys are synchronized, so they both die at the same time. We get to the uh, phase where we can actually hurt the Dark Star finally, which is good. I like to be able to hurt Dark Stars. That makes me quite happy. And as always, we're going to start off the Flying Star, hopefully getting the defense drop because it'll help speed up our time. Um, random, the random stat downs always. You also, you know, that is another nice thing about Mighty Meteor that actually does come into play decently. Um, it does. I don't know if I really showed it off in this video, but it also um, randomly can apply the power down status on enemies, which makes them weaker, which means you take less de less damage, which is actually kind of important. So, uh, you know, if you happen to go, I got the defense down. That's really nice, and a couple lucky hits there as well. Only like that, that's 1,335 um, damage. That, that actually you know, is a lot of damage to the Dark Star. I can't talk anymore. I'm not even halfway through this video, and I can't even talk anymore. That is horrible. But like I said, Mighty Meteor, I mean, we might as well. You don't have enough to do any of the really big attacks. And Mighty Meteor does a decent chunk of damage. It's a, okay, that's actually not that much. Mar Unfortunately, if it goes to Mario, it does less damage, because Mario has a lower power stat at this point, because uh, we buffed uh, Luigi's attack up the wazoo here. But two lucky hits actually makes that useful. And, and that does actually more than lucky hit. It's only an Ultra Mushroom, unfortunately. But, you know, still 703 damage. That's not horrible. And it gives him the power down status as well, which is kind of nice. Unfortunately, not enough to kill him. Like I said, it's about 3,000 something health, I think. So, uh, we're gonna... But this actually provides us with, with an interesting point. Because when you don't have the time... And I'm gonna go ahead and just may as well use this and heal up back to full. Like I said, doesn't waste a turn. Um, when you have these moments right here, obviously... You know, we don't have uh, any of those Stark Stel Star Stark Set Hellmites, I think they're called. I always forget. It's a good chance to heal, or in this case, you know, we have our health thing of the meter, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, take this opportunity to get Luigi's SP back up. So look at that. Like I said, uh, Mario the Type Belt still has, you know, pretty good SP, 
And now thanks to um, giving, getting this turn, you, all, you, you pretty much will always get this turn to heal from what I find. Um, you always get a turn basically where you can essentially, you know, get Luigi's SP back up using your, your the syrup charges that you are, are automatically given when you start the fight. So um, take that opportunity, heal up your SP, and that should give Luigi enough to really last for until the end of the fight. Um, if not, you know, we always have the star candies. I will probably use a star candy on Mario at some point, just, you know... Because, I mean, he is still... He is getting kind of low on SP. You know, he only has enough for three falling stars, which we're going to have to use at least one here, pretty much. Uh, it's a good idea to use the falling star just to kill this thing. Because Dark Star X is actually pretty tough, and you do not want... He will hurt you pretty badly, as you've seen, so... Uh, do make sure you can dodge that. Luckily, you know, we can uh, finish off these Dark Satellites in this turn, and thus, you know, get to the phase where we can damage him, which is good. You know, the, the quicker you can get out of this phase where the Dark Star can hurt you, the better. Because his attacks can just be a pain in the ass, and they can do a lot of damage. So be careful, make sure you do that. And bounce! Uh, we're gonna go ahead and take that one down. Build up our meter in the same time as well, which is always good. Uh, it's a good idea to build that meter up just in case we need an emergency heal. I almost thought that was the wrong bro, and I almost screwed that. If you hit the bomb, obviously, you know, you fail to do damage to the Dark Star. The one thing you do not want to do is mess up that counterattack, because obviously that counterattack is crucial to your success. And if you have to do a whole nother round, you're just in a whole load of trouble there. I guess we'll go with Magic Window instead. Um, his defense is already down, so Magic Window should be doing quite a lot of damage, so we're going to give that a try. Unfortunately, it is dependent on the independent bro's power, so if you keep getting Mario, we can't do that much damage, because Luigi does 21, he almost does double damage, which is kind of funny. Uh, the bros, obviously, together do, you know, the combination damage, which is pretty nice, so... Lots of Luigi's, please, or lots of doubles, that works, too. Um, bro, know how to head, rack up a bunch of damage, hopefully enough to finish this guy off, or at least to a point where Luigi can finish him off. We're probably about 400 or 500 away. Yeah, okay, is, he's not dead yet. We're probably about 400 or 500 away. I think a Mighty Meteor can do this, and I want to risk it because I really want to get uh, an extra 1-Up Deluxe or something. So I think we can get this finish this guy off. He's probably only 400 away. Did about 700 last time. It should be enough. Um, it is a good idea to look up the enemy's HP just because, you know, knowing is half the battle. So if you know how much damage you've done, you can sort of gauge it and uh, pick attacks appropriately. Okay, a Max Nut, you know, that's better than an Ultra Mushroom, so I'll take that. Okay, it is enough to finish him off like I thought, so uh, we'll just quickly escape. Just make sure you don't get caught by that. That would be tragic. You do not want to be taking damage here. Try to end this fight with good health and good SP if you can. That's why it's important to take that turn to heal Luigi's SP. Try to take that turn and get it. It really is vital to your success to be at a decent amount of HP and SP because... The hidden fight, Bowser X. This guy is really freaking hard. Be careful. Be absolutely careful. Um, that attack right there that he did to Luigi, that punch, in one of my practice attempts, it did over 350 damage. It one-shots Luigi. Basically, most of his attacks are going to do massive damage to either bro, especially Luigi, and that's not good. So make sure you dodge his attacks decently. And most importantly, you know, make sure you have decent health so you can actually take this guy on. Um, you know, take this guy on. Be able to actually attack him right away without having to heal or waste your bar. Um, as you can see, we have a full bar, we have full health, or close to full health, and we have good SP. Really is vital, like I said. Anyway, as you can see, the reason why you have to be good at every single special attack is because Bowser will counter any of your special attacks by stealing that special attack. So basically, you only have one use of each of your special attacks. Well, that's not quite true. Um, Basically, you won't be able to use that special attack for five turns. So after five turns, um, you know, the fifth turn after you use that special attack, you'll be able to get it back. Now that being said, oh, one up deluxe. That's perfect. I needed one of those. Um, but then, you know, that being said, obviously, you know, ten turn, you know, it's one. Um, a turn of Mario, a turn of Luigi is still one turn. So you know, you have. I think you actually have ten special attacks, so you can still use a special attack every turn. So as long as you know every single special attack, you, and especially if you can get an excellent on each special attack and keep your bar up, that's pretty vital because, you know, you continue to do uh, special attacks over and over again. That being said, you don't really need to be good at every attack, so I won't really have to worry about, say, Fire Flower, because, as you can see, um, you will... Your, your bros are going to die, basically, because this guy is really hard to beat without having some of your bros die. So, uh, because of that, basically, um, and so far we've seen attacks we've seen before. This one's actually new, and he does have... 
I believe two new attacks. This is one of them. Um, he goes into giant form. He shoots a bunch of fire. And this is very similar to the uh, Dark Fawful, or not the Dark Fawful, the uh, whatever that the, the final boss was of Fawful. Um, it's very similar to one of his attacks. Where they have to, where you then have to run away from uh, the giant form. So kind of funny how uh, both the hidden boss and the final boss have a very similar sort of attack. But you have to basically jump over the fireballs. The trick to dodging that attack, um, as I find, is you basically you want to uh, look at the shadows because his fireballs. Um, you know, if you look at the shadows, you'll see which ones are actually heading towards your bros. It's kind of hard to eyeball, in my opinion. So if you look at the shadows, you'll be able to see which ones are targeting your bros, and you'll be able to react accordingly. Um, it makes that attack a lot easier to dodge, in my opinion. And obviously, running back, it's not too hard to dodge the fireballs. Just sort of time your jumps. You do have to time them pretty well, especially the, the large fireballs. It does get tougher as time goes on. So as the fight's going to go later, that attack's going to get more and more complicated. But in general, running away and jumping over the fires is not too bad. So uh, we've lost three of our attacks so far. We're going to continue the... Um, actually, you know what? Mario is pretty low, so this is a good chance to heal up and uh, use his dark candy. So there we go. Mario is back to good SP. Now, obviously, because Mario has a type, the type belt, Luigi has um, doesn't have a type belt. It's um, it's more SP efficient to use the less costly attacks, like for example, Mighty Meteor, Jump Helmet, uh, Green Shell, for example. It's more cost efficient to use those attacks on Luigi and save the really costly attacks for Mario. So uh, go with the more the most costly attacks for Mario. Go with the least costly ones for Luigi because you'll save more SP in the long run by doing that. Now this Goomba Storm, I always suck at attacking enemies and you know the whole dropping from above thing. I have such poor vertical perception, so. That attack in particular, while you can do a lot of, of uh, counter-attack damage to uh, Bowser X by doing that, boy oh boy do I suck at that part, and they drop a lot faster than they do uh, in uh, the original fight, so be careful, that fight, that, that attack can do a lot of damage. Um, that Goomba Storm attack is probably, well no, I'm not going to say it's the one I'm worst at, but basically he has a lot of really dangerous attacks, so it's really important to have a lot of one-up mushrooms, because it'll let you survive these attacks, and you don't have to be as good at countering them if you just have a lot of items to deal with it. Anyway, he's doing this again. Like I said, watch the shadow. So as you can see, if you see a shadow like that, you know, you can jump over Mario. So, uh, it does make it a lot easier to be able to do that. And then we're just going to go ahead and jump over these. As you can see, it's a little bit more complicated this time. I know there's coins there. You don't have to get the coins. I think you actually do get money for doing that or something, or I don't know if the coins have any significance. But uh, if you're feeling ballsy, you can get them like I did. Why not? Bragging rights or something. If you don't, it does uh, make the coin sound effect for Bowser, so does that actually do anything? I'm not actually quite sure, but we're going to go ahead and do a snack basket. Uh, it's our most expensive, or it's one of the more expensive uh, special attacks we have at the moment. So, uh, like I said, saving SP of the type belt, good idea to do the more expensive ones with Mario. So, uh, smack, smack baskets, yes. I want an attack called smack baskets, where you take a bunch of baskets and you start smacking the enemy of them. That would be absolutely amazing. Make it happen, Nintendo. Make it happen. But as you can see, you know, except for Magic Window and Falling Star, these attacks don't do that much damage. In case you're wondering, Bowser X has about 7,300 health, I believe, is what it was. So, um, you know, Falling Star and Magic Window did about 1,000. These other attacks did about 500. So we're about halfway at this point. Um, or I think we're a little bit under half. Or, you know, I guess with the counterattack damage, we're, we're probably a bit above. We're probably about at half right now. I'd say we're at half. Anyway, this attack is actually pretty tough. Uh, it's this other new attack where he'll basically go on fire like he used to um, do back with um, Dark Bowser and whatnot, the, uh, his fireball form. Because, you know, obviously Bowser had different forms. You know, he had his giant form. He had his spike ball form that we didn't see back then. Unfortunately, he, didn't, he never does use Koopa Corpse or the bomb on move or anything like that. He doesn't end up using those, unfortunately. I guess you could technically miss them if you want to, and this is a good opportunity to heal right here, obviously. Um, so he never references, you know, those other special attacks. In fact, we've seen all of his attacks between us, um, you know, the normal form. He does all have all of his normal form attacks. So between those and the two attacks we just saw, um, we, you know, those are all the attacks you can do. Now, obviously, for that fireball attack, you have to hit his fireball back or he'll continue to do it. And then once he's on fire, you have to hit back the fireballs that he drops from above. Once again, another dropping from above attack, which I suck at. And then you also have to uh, hit him back when he tries to charge at you, which I fail to do. I suck at everything basically involving that attack, because I don't really I've, really... I've only really faced a few times. He doesn't seem to do it early in these matches, so... I barely got to face that attack at all, if ever. I think that's actually my first time facing that attack. 
And I fell down, that's not good, but um, as you can see, we're actually starting to get our special attacks back. So we did get a uh, Mighty Meteor and Flying Star back, which is perfect, because uh, we can go ahead and actually use a Flying Star right now, which is great. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use a Flying Star just because, you know, it's cheap, and I want to get this damage off as quick as possible so I can get it back later on if I need it. Um, you know, an extra 1,000 attack, or an extra 1,000 damage, you know, every if he only has 7,000 health, a 1,000 damage right there is a seventh of his health. So getting these, um, these really good attacks off as often as possible, really good idea. So, uh, I do recommend using Falling Star and Magic Window in the first two turns, so you can get them on cooldown, I guess, um, and get them back earlier, so you can use them again. So, uh, there goes Falling Star, unfortunately. I'm gonna take this opportunity to heal Mario, because I don't want him dying, so we're gonna go ahead and just, um... I don't think 120 is enough. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and use a Star Candy. I don't want to... It's kind of a bit of a waste of SP, but I want Mario to be as, at full. No, here we go. So, uh, Stanley goes a bit faster that time, so be careful, because he goes faster. Um, or is it she? It's a she, that's right. And, uh, it's just his fire attack. We've seen that before. Not too hard to dodge. And then this again, um, like I said, the shadows are the key. He uses this attack a lot. Luckily, he doesn't use his fireball attack as much, the, uh, other fireball one. I hate the hammer from above, because I suck at hammering from above. As you can see, we have... The pattern's a lot trickier now, so, uh, do be careful. Obviously, you know, you do want to dodge all those fires. I think if he steps on you, you take massive damage. You're probably gonna get one shot, actually, so, uh... Make sure you dodge those fires. Luckily, it's not that tricky. Um, Spin Pipe's the most expensive one. I'll have Luigi use Mighty Meteor. Um, as you can see, by the way, once he gets to half health, he does start doing two attacks a turn, which can obviously be fatal because of so how much damage just one attack does. Two attacks can just destroy you. So, uh, do make sure you're, you, you're, you can dodge some of the attacks or you're going to be in trouble. Luckily, you know, the fight, you know, his Flame Breath attack and the Giant Buzzer attack those ones are pretty easy to dodge, so uh, I got lucky at that one. But uh, Spin Pipe, at, th at this point, is probably at about 1,500 health left. Um, maybe a little less, but he's probably got only at 1,000 health left. I might, and with the counter attack damage, I might actually be uh, overestimating how much health he has left. But we're going to go ahead. Mighty Meteor sounds like a good idea, so let's go ahead and Mighty Meteor and uh, see if we can go ahead and get ourselves an extra 1-up or something, because that would be absolutely wonderful. Not that I'm low on 1-up, surprisingly, um, but obviously I do want to get as many as possible because the lo more you have, the longer you can keep going in this fight, which is why Mighty Meteor, like I said, the number one thing you need to do is do a lot of Mighty Meteor. A Star Candy is perfect, I will take that. That means extra SP if I need it, which is great. So, uh, buy a Mighty Meteor. Probably won't actually get another chance to do this. Oh, God, I hate this attack. Oh, Burn! Burn status is horrible! I can't dodge any of these attacks! Oh, God. Things have gone horribly wrong. Um, survive, 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 as long as Luigi can survive, I'll be okay, ow. Okay, wait, did he do an atta attack before this, or am I, no, he's doing, okay, no, no. Did he do two attacks there? I don't know, but I'm up to 32 HP, so thank goodness. And the act, and here's why, like I said, um, you really want to have your meter at full, because, uh, I can get free healing right now without having to waste a turn of Luigi, which means I can go ahead and attack Magic Window's too expensive, but I have enough for Super Bouncer, so here we go, um, Super Bouncer, hopefully next turn of Magic Window I can finish him off, that would actually be, um, Magic Window should be enough to finish him off, so uh, assuming I can survive this turn, I should be good enough to actually win this fight, so, uh, that's good. Like I said, this guy, he is really, really, really tough, um, he takes a lot of hits, he deals out a ton of damage. He definitely is the ultimate challenge in this game. So hopefully, next turn I can get him finished off, or he can be dead now! That's right, he's dead. I, he actually had less HP than I thought he did. And there we go, guys! Bowser X is defeated. We have conquered the gauntlet. Which is awesome. Oh boy, this was a half hour long video. And that fight, believe me, oh my god, it is intense. Definitely the most awesome fight in the game, and definitely an amazing challenge. I approve. Anyways, guys, Lucky7DX signing out. In the next episode, uh, I'm going to actually go ahead, quickly, go ahead and save right now so I actually can keep this thing. But um, in the next episode, there's just a couple things I want to show off, a little things, that, a couple of things I didn't get to show off, and uh, a couple battles of Mario and Luigi I didn't get to ever do, um, Bowser enemies I didn't get to do, and then we'll wrap up the game. So see you next time.